and it's Amber and welcome to my YouTube channel, Amber's Awfully Awesome Art. I hope y'all are enjoying your 4th of July long weekend and today I will be doing a Shelly Art Deconstructed Bloom on a 10 by 20 inch level 3 gallery wrapped canvas that I have sprayed some water and stretched out in the back so paint doesn't pull in the center. And next are my colors. I will be using Windsor and Newton Thalo Green. And there is my consistency right there. It's leaving about a two to three second trace. And I mixed all my paints and pigments with Falspar High Gloss Untinted Base C straight out of the can. And followed by Thalo Green is this little piggy Lakeside. It is a really beautiful uh, color in between teal and turquoise. Um, so I really, really like that combination. And this will be followed by Golden Primary Cyan. It goes really well with the lakeside color. And um, the Primary Cyan is a level up from the Ultramarine Blue. Uh, so it's a really pretty blue. And for the first time, I am using this little piggy Flamingle. It is one of their newest color shift pigments and it gives a, a green color shift. Um, and this will be followed by Golden Quinacridone Violet. Again, a super pretty violet color. And next, I will layer my colors. All right, y'all. Um, I did my first attempt. It wasn't very successful since my paint was drying. It's super hot in Texas. Um, so I realized my paint was drying. So I scraped, so I apologize for the mess. And I'm also using a new pillow paint. It's Glidden Essentials uh, Eggshell Semi uh, Matte because Home Depot didn't have my regular PPG Multi Pro Eggshell White and Pastel Base available. Overall, this is a great alternative. It did have a lot of bubbles. I have heard that before from a lot of people. And it is true. It does have a lot of bubbles, even though you don't get uh, you don't get the can shaken at the store. Um, and I did let it rest as well. And now I will lay my paints that I had mentioned before. And they are all mixed with Valspar High Gloss Untinted Base C, available at Lowe's. Um, and my first layer is Windsor Newton Thalo Green, which will be followed by this little piggy lakeside. All of my pigments are dispersed with GAC 100, which is a wetting uh, disbursement agent. I did not want to wet them with Josania or any type of varnish. So um, I dispersed them with the GAC 100 and simply poured my Valspar. Um, and that was Lakeside, followed by Golden Primary Cyan. And this is followed by this little piggy Flamingle. Again, a beautiful um, pink green color shift pigment. Um, definitely a must have in your collection, followed by um, Golden Quinacridone Violet. And I am using a Amsterdam Lamp Black and Amsterdam Gold Cell Activator. Um, I thought it would give a really interesting lacing um, with the gold and the black together. And next I will blow out my first bloom. So I like to blow out one bloom first and then puddle my next bloom and blow it out. So here I am gently pushing my cell activators towards the end you kind of ride the wave as garrick brown from Gar garrick brown studios uh, would say and you gently push it towards the end because you don't want a lot of blank space in between your blooms so that is what i'm doing here i will let y'all enjoy the rest of this process and i'll be back once we are ready to spin and tilt this bloom out and to actually deconstruct it.
Guys, I wanted y'all to see a close-up of uh, the three bloom blowouts that I did. They turned out pretty good. Um, that first one does tend to have a lot of gold cell activator, but it's okay. But yeah, there you have it. And now we will uh, spin and tilt. And I'm gently spinning um, in one direction, and then I'll go in the opposite, and then I will tilt. I tend to like my deconstructed blooms a little more linear than abstract. I just don't like my abstract deconstructed blooms for some reason. Um, and I have the opportunity to actually learn this technique from my mentor, Tara, from Pieces of Tara Artistry. And then I was so fortunate enough to take a class uh, with Karen Dershin from Waterfall Acrylics. She is the creator of the Deconstructed Bloom Technique, and she is just an amazing teacher and literally a walking encyclopedia as far as how paints react in blooms um, and also how to get uh, bolder cells and what uh, paint consistencies do or how they will react in your bloom. She knows all of this information. Um, I will have their channels linked down below. So definitely go check them out if you are interested in learning more about blooms or deconstructed blooms. Both will also be teaching at PORCON, which is the largest fluid art convention going on in Vegas uh, in between August uh, 6th through the 9th. I'm very fortunate and blessed uh, to have the opportunity to assist in this event. And I highly recommend these in-person classes to take your fluid art journey to the next level. Um, I will have the link down below and I will let you guys enjoy the rest of this process. But before that, I am tilting the areas I do not like off first and tilt the areas you do like off last because if you tilt an area that you really liked first uh, there's no way of getting it back so yeah tilt the areas you don't like off first and the areas you do like off last and guys enjoy the rest of the process i will be back with the wet results And y'all, here is the wet result of my deconstructed bloom. I love how it turned out. Um, just look at how crisp the cells are with using just Valspar, despite the fact that I used uh, Thalo Green, which is a transparent color. Um, I didn't really care for that negative space area there, but it grew on me. And here is another angle. You can already see the green color shift from uh, this little piggy flamingo, uh, which looks spectacular. And next, I will be back with the dried non-resin results. This is the dried non-resin result of my deconstructed bloom. It turned out amazing. I decided to resin it because I thought that... Uh, Flamingo will look absolutely amazing with the extra shine from the resin. And next, I will show y'all um, the resin results. And there you can see that green color shift from the Flamingo uh, TLP. So yeah, there you have it. And here are the dried resin results of this deconstructed bloom. It turned out amazing. I use Mixed Media Girl Resin. I will have her channel and website linked down below. I had no bubbles and no dust. 
um, and I probably won't need a second coat. I may do one just in case, but it turned out spectacular. And just look at the color shift from this little piggy flamingo. Um, you can get all of these pigments from fluid-art.co and there you have it again. It goes from pink to green. Simply amazing and Lakeside adds a lot of shimmer also. And if you would like to learn more about Shelly Blooms, then I highly recommend her e-course. You can save 15% by using my code ShellyArt15AG, and I will have that in the description box as well. But yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, until next time, stay safe, stay classy, and stay awfully awesome, guys, and have a very happy and safe 4th of July and happy Independence Day to you and your families.